Hey guys, Rory here. I just wanted to take a moment to show you a pretty cool new concept from Audi called the Urban Sphere, which I think is pretty damn clever. And I wanted to show it to you because it takes one of the biggest themes in automotive design over the last couple of years and cranks it up to 11. Yes, I'm talking about that front grille. Look at it. Okay, so a quick bit of context. The Urban Sphere is the third in a series of Audi Sphere concepts after the Sky Sphere unveiled at Pebble Beach and the Grand Sphere at the Munich Auto Show. And this one is designed to have the largest interior space of any Audi concept car. But before we get around to talking about the interior, back to the grille, because it's wild. The entire surface of the single frame, that's Audi's name for their front grilles, is an actual canvas or screen that dictates the visual design of the front of the car, but can also be used to signal or communicate with other road users. It's made up of LEDs that live behind a tinted transparent visor. There are a couple of vertical segments on the left and right hand side which work as the low and high beams, but the LEDs around them can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. For example, they can indicate or show a pair of red crosses that could be useful if the car breaks down on a motorway. They can animate to show you the charging status or perhaps the level of charge in the battery. They can play Pong for some reason and they can disappear completely in a funky little shutdown sequence. Interestingly, the lighting units to the top left and right of the grille are the actual day running lights and they can change shape. Plus, the Audi logo is illuminated. Now, the light show continues around the back of the car as well. There's a couple of small slivers at the outer edges for the main rear lights, but most of the tailgate is illuminated again by LEDs, which can show animated patterns, just like the front of the car. Very cool. I'm just not sure how legal these will be. Probably not very, but it does look great. Okay, so what about the rest of the Urban Sphere? Well, it's all electric, as you might have gathered. And like I said at the beginning, it's huge. Even though it might look quite sleek, it's five and a half meters long. A Range Rover is only five meters long and it's nearly 1.8 meters high, so almost as tall as a van. Why is it so massive? Well, the Urban Sphere was designed primarily for the Chinese market and in particular metropolitan areas where personal space is in short supply. So the idea is that this is a bit of an oasis inside, a third living space as you commute from home to the office. The doors are really cool. They're counter hinged at the front and the rear so there's no B pillar getting in the way. And there's an illuminated virtual red carpet to welcome you aboard. The seats themselves, there's four of them individually, swivel to make it easier to get in. And apparently the seats at the front can rotate to face the ones at the back. Yes, it is level four autonomous. It means the car can pick you up, take you to work and then toddle off to charge itself and park itself without you touching the steering wheel, which itself is also deployable. One of the cool things about the seats is the headrests, which have a built-in privacy screen that lets you hide your face from other passengers. A bit antisocial, but there you go. And each seat has a private sound zone in the headrest area so everyone can listen to their own audio and enjoy their own infotainment. But when passengers want to enjoy infotainment together, there's two more additions. Screens in the back seats, standard, but there's also an OLED cinema screen that pivots vertically from the roof area into the space between the two rows of seats. Apparently, you can watch movies on this, either a single film or in split screen. Oh, and when it's not being used, it's actually transparent, so passengers can see through to the front. On the subject of the front, Audi's done away with traditional screens and instead used projectors that cast images onto the wooden surface below the windscreen. How do you control it? Well, apparently there's a sensor bar below the dash, but Audi's also incorporated voice and gesture controls. So if you're sat too far back to reach the MMI knob, because you're in autonomous mode maybe, you can just reach out, make a turning gesture, and it physically turns. Couple more things to mention. The materials are all sustainably sourced. These include sustainable wood, seat padding made from infinitely recyclable nylon, and check out the moving center console, which apparently contains a water dispenser and virtual reality glasses. God, imagine virtual reality goggles in a moving car. The entire cabin would surely be covered in sick. Now, I should probably tell you about the powertrain next. They're saying it will have a 120 kilowatt hour battery for 466 miles of range with the ability to fast charge from five to 80% in 25 minutes. And there are two motors that deliver a total of 401 horsepower. So it won't just be comfortable. It's got air suspension, by the way. If you decide to take control yourself, it should also be quite fast. Will it ever come to production? No, well, 
Probably not with all the bonkers features that it has in the concept form, but who knows? Maybe some of the stuff will make it into Audi's production cars at some point in the future. But what do you guys think? Cool or silly? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Peace.